Hey, world changer, I hope you are not giving up on changing the world. I'm also changing my world from right here. Did you know that the population of Ghana as of June 2019 was 30,083,000 people? Or that Aubame Young of Arsenal scored 22 goals for Arsenal in the English Premier League in the 2018-2019 season? Do you know the number of students in your school? Why am I asking these questions? What do all these have in common? There are data. Data is everywhere. Some say data is life. So what is data? Data are individual parts of information recorded and used for the purpose of analysis. Data is information in raw or unorganized form, such as numbers, as in the population of Ghana, or letters, or symbols. Data, as I have said earlier, is everywhere. But most times, data is unorganized and sometimes lie unharnessed. So the need to collect, organize, analyze, and interpret data is very necessary. The science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data is called statistics. In statistics, we collect data, like the number of students in your school. We may need to group them, if it is a mixed school, as number of boys and number of girls. We may also decide to group them according to classes or according to tribe. This process is called organizing data. We can further see from the organized data that the number of girls may surpass that of boys. This is the process of analyzing data. From the analysis, we may say that there are more girls in that area who are interested in school than boys. <laughs> no offense to the boys. Or we can say that there are more girls than boys in the area or anything related to the initial question we wanted to answer. So in statistics, we work with data to get more harmonized information about different situations in life. We may want to take the population of the Gambia in 2019 in order to predict the growth of the economy of the Gambia. You see, data is important, but harnessing and organizing the data is more important. In statistics, we have tools and processes that we use to work with data, and we will be looking at some of the tools used for working with data. We will discover more about frequency, or the number of times each piece of data occurs in a given group of data, and also the process of grouping frequencies in tables. We will represent the data we have collected by the aid of some pictorial diagrams to enable us have an idea of the message gotten from the collected data at a glance. A pie chart is one of the famous diagrams that is used in representing data. We will also use the bar chart to illustrate data. Have you heard of the histogram? It looks like the bar chart, and it will also be one of the diagrams we will be using. After representing data in picture formats, we will proceed to get information from these illustrations by doing some interesting calculations. Statistics is a very broad topic, and we'll be biting off our chunk of knowledge from the big body of statistics. Sharpen your minds and pencils, for we are just getting started. In the next lessons, we will be doing statistics. See you then. <laughs>